Привет, друзья! Привет всем! Uh, hello, everybody! Hello, dear friends! Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm Gerald Beya for Aunet.Russian. And uh, so it's been a long time since uh, I made my last uh, Russian language learning lesson. And that's because uh, I was kept busy with some other projects. So I apologize for that. And so what you can see on your screen right now is just the playlist uh, I've made for Russian language learning on my channel, so Gerald Beyer. So as you can see, I have quite a lot of uh, recorded lessons and uh, the last time it was lesson 51. So this time it's gonna be lesson 52. So if you're ready, let's get started. So guys, uh, welcome back uh, on Duolingo, uh, this smartphone application I'm using to learn uh, foreign languages. As a reminder, I want to let you know that I am a language enthusiast. I'm learning quite a lot of uh, foreign languages, such as German, Russian, of course, Italian, German, French, I already speak it, uh, Hindi, Spanish, uh, Latin, well, Latvian is not here on Duolingo. And also we have Norwegian. I've tried some other languages, but uh, so these languages, I don't really learn them, but I've, uh, I've been interested in them uh, at a certain point of time. So that was just to let you know that uh, I have different projects, language or linguistic projects, and uh, I have some playlists on Duolingo. Uh, I mean, not on Duolingo, on YouTube. And also you can find uh, my pages, aunet.russian, aunet.spanish, aunet.italian and you can uh, subscribe to them, follow these pages, like them so that uh, you stay motivated. Alright, so let's get busy guys. So we are now doing unit 10, ask basic questions, uh, describe people's job. We're going to have a look at the guidebook once again, just as a warm-up. So we have uh, some basic questions here. Извините, извините, кто вы? Извините, кто вы? Извините, кто вы? Okay. And we have откуда вы? Откуда вы? Where are you from? Откуда вы? We also have почему они не в школе? Почему они не в школе? Школе. Куда они идут? Идут? Куда они идут? Идут. So, они идут. So, you can see where are they going. So, куда они идут? В чем? В чем дела? What's the matter? В чем дела? В чем дела? And кого ты здесь знаешь? Кого ты здесь знаешь? Кого ты здесь знаешь? Whom do you know here? So, that's how you say whom, кого. And, you you can see the difference, you know. Кто, it's who. But кого uh, it's whom. Mm -hmm. All right, and this is here, and uh, what else? From where is uh, at Kuda, and uh, to where is Kuda? So quite a lot of um, of uh, words to remember. But I'm pretty sure, I'm positive that you are gonna remember them. And here are some uh, key phrases describe people's jobs. You have Tom, хороший писатель. Tom, хороший писатель. Хороший, хороший писатель. Хороший means good uh, as an adjective for a masculine singular noun. So, хороший. Хорош, it's maybe... There is хорошо, which is fine, you know, but it's it's like good, you know, that's good, that's 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 good, um, yeah. But something is good, then you have to say it in uh, its masculine form or in its feminine form. Let's uh, look at the second one. Yeah. Строитель, а мой папа писатель. Я строитель, а мой папа писатель. Строитель is a construction worker, so I'm a construction worker and my dad's uh, a writer. 
We have also rabochi. Rabochi rabotaye na zavodje. Na zavodje means at the factory, but I think zavo zavoda maybe is the nominative form of factory. So rabochi rabochi rabotaye na zavodje. Рабочий работает на заводе. The laborer works at the factory. And мой коллега поэт. Мой коллега поэт. Мой коллега поэт. So my colleague is a poet. And uh, here we have the possessive adjective for masculine uh, singular now. So мой коллега is, I guess, um, invariable. So it doesn't, it does not uh, vary. Uh, it stays the same for both um, uh, masculine and feminine. Okay. And V, uh, uh, how would you say this? Who, художник? V художник. V художник. But it's a question, so you have to change your intonation. So V художник. Я здесь, я здесь администратор, администратор, я здесь, я здесь администратор. So, я здесь администратор, I am the administrator here. So, V uh, художник, it's a painter, it can also, I guess, be an artist. Um, yeah, so, once again, we have писател, writer, we have истрайтел, which is a construction worker, and we also have работи. Rabochi, yeah. And we have also Kolega, we also have Poet, we also have Hadoznik and Administrator, of course. Great, guys. So we revised a little bit Unit 10 and we are going to open this chest. So nice to get some, uh, some, some, some quartz, looks like quartz or diamonds. Yeah, gemstones. Ask the basic questions. So that's good because we just revised and we're going to see how much we we can already say, we can already use. Откуда ваш папа? So откуда ваш папа? Ваш папа. So откуда ваш папа? What does it mean? It means uh, where is your... No, откуда ваш папа? Откуда? It's from where is your... Is your dad so where is your dad from so from where is your dad where is your dad from that's the right way to ask the question my apologies yes. and so now I'm gonna switch off this camera for a while if you don't mind okay when do you read when do you read когда ты читаешь когда Когда ты, ты чи, no, читаешь? Read. What do we have here? Думай, думаем, думаем, uh, чо вы читаешь? Читаешь and живешь. So, читаешь. Читаешь. Читать, it's to read. So, this is correct. Читаешь. Читаешь. Кто там? Кто там? Who is there? Who is there? Кто там? Кто любит спать и есть? So, кто любит спать и есть? Кто любит спать и uh, есть? So, спать is to sleep, uh, есть is uh, to eat. So, кто любит? Любит, uh, it's uh, who, well, who likes, yeah? Кто любит, sorry, who likes to sleep and eat? Когда ты читаешь? Когда ты, когда ты читаешь? When do you uh, read? So when do you read? Когда ты читаешь? We have seen Чей that already. Сок? Чей это сок? So, we have seen кто, we have seen кого, and uh, чей, it's uh, whose, whose, uh, whose juice is that? So, 
Чей это сок? Чей это сок? So who's juice is that? Чей я? Чей это сок? Это Дима. Откуда ты его знаешь? Это Дима. Э, Дима. Откуда? Откуда ты, ты его знаешь? Его. Знаешь. Это Дима. Откуда ты его знаешь? Okay, so let me explain. So, это Дима. This is Дима. Uh, from where do you know, know him? So, откуда ты его, him, is nice, no. So, where do you know him from? So, from where do you know him? From where do you know him? Or, where do you know him from? Okay, I would say from where do you know him? Or, I don't know. We can debate on this, but how, that's how you say him, Yevo. Это Дима. Откуда ты его знаешь? Yevo. Yevo, it means him. Почему дети не в школе? Почему? Why дети не в школе? So, so this is uh, a question. So, почему? Why the kids or the children are not at school? So why aren't the children at school? Почему твоя девушка так много работает? Why aren't the children at school? And what this one? Почему твоя девушка так много работает? Почему? Почему? Твоя. Твоя. А девочка. Из девушка, девушка. 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 Почему твоя девушка? Почему твоя девушка так много работает? Так много. 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 Много работает. Работает. So why does your girlfriend? So there is a de, девушка. Yeah, yeah, there is the word девушка, which is a girl. But the девушка is a girlfriend. So you have to be careful мама. about that. Я не знаю, uh, чья это мама. Who's mom? We have seen uh, uh, че, and now we have Cha, because it's for feminine now. It's for a feminine now. So, я не знаю чья это мама. I do not know whose mom this Почему is. Почему они не в школе? Почему? Почему? Они, они не, не в, школе. в школе. So why aren't they at school? Why aren't they at school? Мой брат и сестра в школе. Uh, мой брат и сестра. Школе. So, my, my brother and sister are at school. My brother and sister are at school. Okay. So, whose tea is it? How do you say tea in Russian? It's chai. So, now, how do you say whose? For a masculine now, we say chi. So, chi, chai... Che. Чай. Чай. Эм... Она, Она пьет. пьет. So, what does that mean? It just means whose tea is she drinking. So, че чай она пьет. Откуда твоя мама? Откуда твоя мама? So, where is your mom from? Where is your mom from? So, that's the right way. I I have this bad habit of saying like where from from where is your mom? <laughs> so from where is your mom? So where is your mom from? That's the right way to to say to ask the question, yeah? So who likes to sleep and eat? So кто любит любит и спать? Спать? Спать. И и есть. Есть. So кто любит спать и есть? Чья это сестра? Чья это сестра? So whose sister is it? Is she? You know, we can we can say like this because it's not is it? It's not a, a thing. It's not an object. It is a person and she's a, a female. I do not know whose mom this is. 
So, ja nie ja. znaju... Nie. Znaju. Ja nie znaju uh, cia... Cia. Uh, cia mama eta. Eta. Cia eta mama. Ok. I inversed it. Cia mama... Cia eta mama. Yeah, ok. I made one mistake and on the very last. That's a pity. Ja... Nie ja, mi znaju, znaju. Cia, cia mama eta. Ma eta. Oh, I... Ok, no comment. Ja, ja nie mi znaju, znaju. Uh, cia, cia mama. mama. No, eta mama. mama. Eta. Mama. It's just that for me, it's... I don't know. It's unnatural almost, I would say, to say... Cha eta mama. I would say cha mama eta. It's like the verb eta, but it's not the verb actually. It's just this. Um, in Russian, they don't use the the verb to be in the present form, in the present tense. Okay, guys, I'm gonna pause. See you in a bit. Okay, so I was thinking that I was going to do something else, but uh, Dolingo is proposing me this challenge. I'm gonna take it. So let's see. Извини, я не знаю ответа. Let's see how I will do. So, извини, я не знаю ответа. Ответа, it's the answer. Ответа. Ответа. So I don't know the answer. Sorry, I don't know the answer. It's not извини, it's извини. 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 Uh, is mom already there? Is mom already there? Uh, is mom already there? Mama tam? Tam. Uje tam. Ah, yes, of course. Chio eta mesta. Oh my god. Chio eta mesta. So, whose place is that? Uh, we have seen che, we have seen cha, and now we see cho because there are three genders in Russian language. So the masculine, the feminine, and the neuter. So here it's a neuter one. So miesta, place, or seat. So whose place is it? And uh, we have, sorry, I don't know the answer. So we have seen that previously. Izvini. Izvini. Ja, ja ni znaju. Um, Advieta. Advieta. Kuda ti idiosh? So where are you going? Kuda ti idiosh? Yes, it's da. Uh, Russia is over there. Rasiya tam. Rasiya tam. Yeah. Rasiya tam. U tebe jest vaprose. So another question. Here we have to ask. У тебя есть вопросы? Вопрос is a question. Вопросы questions. So it's in the plural form here. Sorry, I almost forgot that it was in plural. So it's, yeah, вопросы. У тебя есть вопросы? Whose milk are you drinking? So how do you say milk in Russian? Malako. Yeah, Malako is a neuter noun because um, ends with O. Normally, that's an indication already. So we will not say che, we will not say cha, we will say cho. Chio. Malako. Malako. Uh, ti pios. Pios. Che malako ti pios. Mayo miesta tam. Mayo miesta tam. Mayo miesta tam. So guess what it means? It means my my place is there. Tam it's there. So my uh, Mr. Tam. Also, where are you going? So kuda ti idiosh. Idiot. No, it's not idiot. It's idiosh. Idiosh. Chie to stoli. Okay, we have seen che, we have seen cha, we have seen chu, and now we have chi. Uh, what does that mean, Chi? 
Chi it's uh, uh, stall stall it's um, table I guess table here yeah stally no it's not stall even it's tall stally uh, no I think you say stally but stall stall it's one table and stally uh, many tables right so now we are using whose for uh, masculine plural so actually whose uh, there are mm, how many six I guess there are six ways to write whose in Russian so that's how the language is uh, difficult you know that's how difficult the language is sorry so chi eta stoli So whose tables are these? As you can see, yeah, it's plural. Uh, do you have questions? Utibia. Utibia. Utibia, yes. Yes. E vaprosi. 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 Okay. Chio eta yabloka. Chio eta yabloka. Okay. And now we have. Uh, we have. Apples. We had an apple, singular. Now it's in plural. So whose apples are you eating? Uh, I guess it's going to be chi. Chi. Chi yabloki. Uh, I'm not sure. Is it chi eta yabloki or chi yabloki eta? I think yabloki. Chi eta yabloki. Yabloki. Yeah. It's just how... Things are in Russian. Mish, it's uh, a mouse, but Mishi, mice, yeah. Uh, so, uh, whose mice? Or, or in my house. So who's my so at my home at my home? Okay, меня дома. And uh, what does he read? That sorry, what does he read that much for? What does he read that much for? So what for is not почему. Почему is why, but what for is зачем. So you have to be careful, guys. So зачем, зачем. is what for. And uh, зачем он, он. Читает. читает так много. Так. много. много. Noga. I don't know why they say manoga. They say ma manoga, but not noga. Зачем он так много читает? Зачем он так много читает? Yes. What does he read that much for? And is mom already there? Uh, that was my previous uh, mistake. Yes, I remember. Mom Uje. Mama. Mama. So it's mom. It's not. Uh, yeah. Mama Uje tam. Tam. Uje. It's uh, already in Russian. Mama Uje tam. One mistake was it? Yes. Okay. So very well. I think we did. Um, we did two exercises so far. Let's uh, press on and see if, if we can finish this level. So what was it? Tis naesh chi etadom chi chi etadom chi who's okay. Let's say it.
So remember chi, uh, cha, cho, chi, cha, cho, chi, cha, chi, cha, cho, and uh, what else? No, chi, chi, cha, cho, chi. <laughs> I guess. Okay, it's Chivo getting complicated. What? Чего там нет? Чего там Чего нет? Там нет. Uh, what isn't there? So, чего it's uh, чё, чё, чё там нет? Чё? Usually they just in colloquial Russian. So the Russian speakers usually they don't say чего, they just say чё. Чё там нет? Чё? Чё там нет? Чё там нет? So what's isn't what is missing there? Like you know, чё там нет? What is missing there? Чего там нет дома? It's like what, yeah? Чего? Чё? Там нет дома. So there, there is no house there, but Notice that it's not dom, it is doma, which is in the genitive form. Yeah. Кого вы видите? Кого вы видите? Кого? Кого вы видите? Uh, кого is whom? So whom do you see? Кого вы видите? Uh, sorry, кого вы вы? Кого вы видите? Кого вы видите? Кого вы видите? Кого вы видите? В чем дело? В чем дела? So what's the matter? So чего? Чё? Чего? Чего? It's чё? But в чём? В чём? In what? So чего and в чём? Я ничего не знаю о ней. Я ни чего. Но я ни ничего. Не, я ничего не знаю о ней. Я ничего не знаю о ней. О ней. Let me move this. О ней. Ней. About. Не, it's gonna be about him, I guess. Него. Yeah. Его, него. Okay. I don't know anything about her. No, it's not него. It's ее. Ее, него. No, не. Его, него. Ее, не. Okay. It's difficult, I know, but uh, that's how Russian is. You can like it or not, but if you want to learn it, you have to, you know, you have no choice. Я ни, я ничего, я ничего не знаю о ней. Whom is this T for? Whom? Uh, remember, we have whose, but here it's not uh, whom. Uh, it's not кто, it's кого. 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 Whom is this T from? От кого? Is it от кого? Кого. От. От кого? Кого. Этот чай. Этот чай. Yes. Uh, well, yeah. That's how it is. I don't understand uh, why it's eto chai and not eto chai. Eto chai. Eto chai. Maybe there's some reason why they say this. You see, you have many kind of this. You have eto, eti. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> That's 
A čom? About, uh, about uh, čom? Ty doma ješ. So about whom, I guess? So about what about what are you thinking about? Sorry, what are you thinking about? So ti domaš a čom a čom about what? So čivo čivo a čom? Ja ne znam dla čivo je te tarelke. Ja ne znam dla čivo je te tarelke. Ja ne znam dla Чего эти тарелки? Для чего? No. Я, Я не, не знаю, знаю, для чего эти тарелки. Для чего? One moment, please. Для чего? Чего? Эти тарелки. Эти тарелки. Эти. It's not эти, эти. Я не знаю, для чего эти тарелки. Я не знаю, для чего эти тарелки. So I don't know what these plates of for для чего for what yeah для it's another way to say like uh, you have uh, what for почему you know uh, no зачем зачем what for but для it's like for what uh, what for and for what <laughs> yeah. What do you know about him? So, что? Что? Actually, yeah, there is чего. Uh, the чего, there is a чом. You have чо. Yeah, there is a difference actually between чего and чо. I guess. So, what do you know about him? Чо ти Ты знаешь? Знаешь. О. О. Uh, what it's going to be ньом. 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 So you see you have uh, the the third singular person which is he. So on and then you have ниво and then you have ньом. Ньом is uh, I believe the genitive uh, case genitive case yeah, nyom, about him that's why it's not uh, nivo but nyom чего у нас нет чего чего у нас нет so чего у нас нет it's not чо у нас нет it's Shivo, because I guess it's um, genitive. So what don't we have? Что вы о ней думаете? Что вы... Что вы у ней думаете? Что вы у ней думаете? Что вы у ней думаете? What are you think... What are you thinking about... Um, about her? What do you think about her? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, because uh, in Russian they don't have present continuous. Uh, they just say like, what do you think about this? Even if it's like, what are you thinking? Uh, yeah. Whom does she know here? So, Kavo. Kavo. It's not uh, кто, it's not uh, чом, no, it's not кого, what, what was the other one? I forgot, yeah, кого, whom does she know here? Кого она Anna. Uh, знает здесь, 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 вот Тим. Что ты о нем думаешь? Вот Тим. Тим. Что? Вот Тим. Что ты о нем думаешь? Ты о нем. Нем. 
Думаешь. Думаешь. It's not думаешь, it's думаешь, а? Yeah? Вот, Тим, что ты о нем думаешь? Okay. As you can see, нем, it's in, because it's о нем, about him. Это Вера. Что ты о ней знаешь? Это Вера. So this is Вера. Что ты о ней думаешь? It's a female, so it's not нем, it's ней. So this is Вера. What do you know about her? About her, sorry. And I don't know anything about her. Я не знаю. Я ничего. Я ничего. Ничего. Не. Не знаю. Знаю. О ней. Я ничего не знаю о ней. And a book about Moscow. So. A book about Moscow. Книга о Москве. Отлично. Perfect. Okay, guys. So, I am looking at the time and I see that I have spent 36 minutes and um, about 30 seconds now. So, we should stop here. And uh, because I also have all the commitments. So thank you guys for uh, watching this video. I hope you learn a few things. So keep practicing, uh, like the video, share it, uh, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. This is Gerard Bayer. So that's the name of the channel. And uh, you can also try to find uh, our Facebook page. It's just Aunet dot Russian. Okay. Uh, so Drusia. Спасибо большое и, и э, до свидания. Пока-пока.